Hey everyone, this is Rishi from Digio. I just want to show you a really cool light box and kind of a problem that people have. Um, so one thing that's cool is that you can actually embed your own HTML inside a site. And this is a really cool light box. We see it a lot um, where they just want to embed links, you know, route people to the right information on the website. Um, now here's a comment, you know, if you're using the HTML, uh, HTML settings right here, which they, they've done beautifully here, one thing that we see a lot is people click on this link and then it actually opens up the link you want to go to inside the light box and that's that's not what you want you want people to click on it and then actually go to a different page you know if you it's inside the light box is kind of a, a terrible experience and this is a really simple thing to fix inside the HTML properties one of my favorite sites is w3 schools and and they give you um, kind of what you can do and you want it to open up a new link so we want to use actually create a target value in the HTML, target equals blank. And so I'm just going to copy this. Now remember, Digio's HTML blocks don't allow you to have um, uh, double quotes. We do allow single quotes. So I'm going to go into you know a text document or you know, a notepad or whatever you have open. I'm going to change that to single quotes. I'm going to copy this. Remember, it goes right after the link URL. So we're going to go right here. And I'm going to find the link right here. Um, and then I'm just going to paste it right here. Um, and then I'm going to paste it again for the other link. Um, remember, just it's just a property in the HTML. And so now I'm going to uh, save and preview this and kind of show you, instead of opening up inside the light box, uh, we just click here and it opens up a new page like that. And that's kind of what we wanted. Uh, so it's a really easy fix. Thanks for bringing that to my attention. And uh, it's, it's really fun to do and play around with these HTML properties. Thanks.